What's up, you guys? It's another episode of Wet Vend, and I'm Arash with Mario from Mars Entertainment again. It's this Hi. guy to my left, in How's case you didn't know uh, which one is Mario. I'm Mario. Hey, Mario. Welcome hey. back. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about ugly weddings, and not just in general ugly mm -hmm. weddings, but what can make a wedding ugly? Um, I'll, I'll start it off amber. just to give you Amber. Amber. Who's Amber? X? <laughs> <laughs> no, the color Amber. I like Amber. Why is that? Why is Amber I, ugly? I, I honestly, I hate it. Is it I, is I it, absolutely hate it. Is Amber gold? It's kind of that gold. I think it's, it matches skin tone. It looks really good for photos. And I think in too. photos and videos, it makes it so hard to what? color match. That's why. What color do you like? Uh, not Amber. Red's, red's the worst <laughs> oh, color. Red's terrible. Absolutely. Red is absolutely terrible. Okay. So if like you have uplighting. It, red's the worst. Uh, uplighting, red's the worst. Uh, a hard blue comes out really bad to me just because it makes everything else look like it's under a blue frame. Like I would recommend maybe colors in between those prime colors. You get what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. Okay. Can so you like, me a color? Are you like able to articulate a color? <laughs> uh, like red being a prime color or blue being a prime color. So maybe go somewhere in between. Green? Not green, but like a shade because the reason being is like, all right, so say for example, like uh, I'm trying to do some color correction or not even color correction, but just like my white balancing, right? Okay. And you were white, white, were white balancing the skin tones, but then like, say for example, during the uh, reception portion where the DJ is doing all their lighting and stuff like that and amber pops up, it turns everybody gold. Yeah, and gold is complementary to our skin tones. That's why it's good. If it's red, we're gonna look like we're demons. But if not, but not when they're or purple. We're but not when dead. they're not on their outfits though. When their outfits, like if she, if the bride's wearing white, it looks super weird. She'd to rather be reflected outfit in be red. I, well, no, I definitely don't want it to be you, red. Green. What were you going for? I don't know. More like a teal, maybe. Like a teal is kind of a soft, softer, I, neutral either color. Either way, not, none of those are her colors. So why does mm -hmm. it matter? All of them are bad. So that's why with flash, we got to fix that. Yeah. With video, I mean, if it it shouldn't be on her dress, but if it's spilling right. in, you know, that's just what we're gonna capture. I suppose so. I don't know. It's just. Why, um, where does this hostility really come from? <laughs> her name was Amber. Amber. That's what I thought. <laughs> No, I don't know. It's just shout out to Amber. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Amber. <laughs> no, I don't know. There's just been like a few times where I was just like it, the color threw me off, so that when I was trying to, so it's a you problem. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a me problem. Amber is okay, guys. Just no red. <laughs> Amber is okay. Yeah, definitely no. For real though, don't do red. Like hard red. No, yeah, don't no, do red. No. Um, what else do you consider ugly? Um, Are there any dresses you don't like? Wedding dresses. You know what? Uh, I really like the mermaid dresses. So in terms of ones that I say I wouldn't like. What does that mean, mermaid dresses? Oh, a mermaid dress is basically where it's tight from the shoulders down to the basically right below the hips. This is what you don't like? No, I like those oh, ones. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think those ones are actually really flattering. I think um, they really accommodate to the shape of the bread, mm -hmm. and they are they highlight like the features of the bread. What about those long, like big, uh, like poofy type dresses? What do you think about those? Like the ones that go really Cinderella wide. Yeah. yeah. Uh, are those I'm, considered ugly? I'm really mixed on those. They can be really nice. They can be really ugly. These are your really. But they can be really ugly. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be with you on that. Some of them are ugly. I think the ones. Just I'm saying from the ones we captured, yeah, yeah. they were really pretty. They're right. elegant, um, but I've seen them on Instagram where I didn't like them. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. You could kind of go either or. It's because uh, it's not just the poof the the rest of the outfit has to complement that poofiness. Okay. Like you're not going to do really poofy yeah. shoulders with the poofy bottom. That might be unique though. It would be unique, <laughs> but then you're really going like Cinderella route. Yeah. You know what I mean? What about veils? Are veils ugly? You know what I? Do you have any opinions? <laughs> I have lots of opinions. Uh, when it comes to veils, um, I really like the long ones aesthetically wise. So you're saying short veils are ugly? No, I'm not saying they're ugly. I'm saying they're m short veils are more functional because they're easier to maneuver are you, with. Are you running for politics? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're more functional. Like if you're doing a true like covering your face and you know or doing the, the big reveal. The longer the veil, the better. That's my bottom Aesthetically, line. Aesthetically, oh yes. Always longer the better. It looks great. Like 70 feet, 30 feet, whatever <laughs> you can afford, whatever did, you can get. Did, we've had like, a few where the veil was longer than the dress. Yeah, longer than the dress, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind it of... It flows in the wind. 
when you're tossing it, you might fall off the cliff while you're tossing it. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the cliffs. I fell off. <laughs> sunset cliffs. Shout out to sunset cliffs where Mario almost died throwing a veil. Oh, but but veils are beautiful. You, you got to post that picture with us. I will. <laughs> um, no, but when it comes to the veils, like for photo purposes, they're amazing. Like there's so much flexibility that you do with the long one than versus with the short one. But in terms of function, when you're actually walking down the aisle and you're doing the you're exchanging your vows and doing that portion where it's the reveal. So I would say have two veils. One for photo and video work. Some brides do have two veils, yeah. And then a second veil for the aisle walk and the actual ceremony. I think that is kind of the best of both worlds. But back to it being ugly. Yeah. It's not ugly? No. no. Veils are not ugly. No, no. veils in themselves are not ugly. And you said uh, what kind of dresses are ugly? I'm, I am not a fan of the Cinderella ones. You're not a fan. I'm actually you think those I, are ugly. No, I think they're uglier than like the mermaid ones. Uh, but then I also don't like the ones that are kind of like a cocktail dress. Okay. Like a cock, like it's it's a wedding. I mean, I don't know. If you want to go, it's not. What if it's comfortable? You, that's why they're choosing. Well, some well some people will have two dresses for that that's reason. True. Like well, you like you'll have the ceremony dress, and then you might have the dress that you go out and dance with during the reception. What about shoes? Ooh. Are there ugly shoes? Yes. Con Converse is as wedding? You know what? I like those. I like those too. So <laughs> what are you referring to as ugly? Uh, ugly shoes, I would say uh, the squared front shoes. Squared? Yeah, yeah. Where they're, like, they're squared at the tips instead of... Please oh. don't hit the table. Sorry. It's very annoying for our audience when you keep tapping the table. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. Squared shoes? Yeah, where they're squared at the toes. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I can't picture that. So like when, all right, so there's a typical shoe where it's more pointed out. Most shoes seem yeah, more pointed out. Yeah, but then there are some that are like a little too round like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's a straight up square one. Why does the square bother you? Uh, it, it just doesn't look right. It, uh, yeah. If there's just something about it. It just doesn't you look right to me. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they look similar to like ballerina shoes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like those. But yeah. what if they're comfortable again? Like the Converse's, that might be why they're... Well, I mean, them. whatever you're comfortable with, you can wear it at the end yeah. of the day. It just might be ugly. Yeah, but uh, a friend once told me that beauty is pain, so if it hurts, it's probably prettier. I don't understand, because I'm your only friend, and I don't know why <laughs> saying that to you. <laughs> Shout <laughs> out to Ashley, she's talking about <laughs> Oh, she's Ashley. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, beauty is pain. Uh, like, I mean, come on, you know, you see very high heels sometimes, and moderate-sized heels. Um, I would say maybe not a very high heel in the wedding dress. Okay. Because uh, it would make it hard. I know it makes it harder. For... We don't care about it being harder. We're just seeing what's ugly today. Oh uh, well, then uh, really high heels do look good, depending on the dress, though. What's ugly? Ugly? Ah. What about a shawl? Wedges. No wedges. Wedges? No wedges. What's a wedge? A wedge is uh, basically it's not a heel, but the whole base is like really thick. Oh uh, okay. Yeah yeah. No wedges. Wedges are no. Sandals. Eh. Sandals? Sandals. We've oh, had we had one that fits at a beach. She can't wear sandals. Yeah. She can't wear sandals. It's wear some ugly. Converse. At the beach. Yeah. Sand's gonna get in the Converse. Yeah. You got a problem? Yeah. Have a stroke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like sandals. You don't like sandals? No, I think sandals are uh, okay. don't work. No. All right. That's no. Hard no. What about uh, we did colors of lights? Yes. We did uh, the big poofy dresses that you think are ugly. What do you think about colors of dresses? The white dresses are pretty. Yes. The ivory dresses, I'm not a fan of black dresses for weddings. Have you shot one with a black dress? I've never, so. I've shot a, um, for a designer who had a black dress mm -hmm. that she was selling that actually was really badass, yeah. but I haven't shot an actual wedding with someone with a black dress. What is the most obscure color that wouldn't be like ivory or white that you shot with? I think I've only shot white or ivory. The ones I've seen sold were the black and then there's uh -huh. like a blue one. Cause I, light I, blue. Because I know, like, when we've done, um, uh, we did an Afghan wedding, remember? And they did a green. That That's cultural, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. that, that's, I thought it was pretty that's pretty. normal. I think it's normal, though. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really pretty, though. So I guess, and. Don't get racist. No, I'm saying for cultural weddings, they, they're they not typically, like, they're not always typically white or ivory. And I think those are, can be really pretty. So, uh. Depends what you're, what culture you're talking about. Because, yeah. like, if you're, like, for example, the, the Afghan weddings. Yeah. They also sometimes have the green dress first, and mm. then the white dress. Right. Uh, the, the green dress is primarily for the ceremony, mm. and then also Indian weddings. If they're going to the temple, they mm. may have something traditional that they wear, and then they may wear something like completely white, like more mm. traditional wedding for the uh, reception. 
So cultural weddings, I think, wear both, but I don't think you can criticize their cultural yeah, of course, dress. no. Yet. no I'm you not criticizing your culture. Because then that's don't cancel. racist, yeah. <laughs> you can get canceled before this, this airs. Just from yeah. this whole, the, every podcast, yeah. there's, there's always, always a reason. There's always somebody say that's potential <laughs> cancellation. Um, I think red would be really off-putting for... <laughs> Who wears red during a wedding, bro? I don't know. I mean, I... If you don't know, then why are you saying it? Well, because, you know... Orange. Orange is off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> coral, sir. Coral. Coral is off-putting. Coral. <laughs> um, well, no, you never know. I mean, just because... You never we, know? I well, don't know because I've never seen it. That's really. what I mean. We, just because we haven't seen it doesn't mean that we won't ha- happen to come upon let's, it. Let's though. wait until we see it. Then we can have another podcast on why the yellow dress... Okay, well, we'll review that. look like she was yeah. jaundiced. Okay. okay. That's fair. All right. Um, <laughs> what about flowers? I know you don't really care about flowers, but are there any ugly flowers? Yes. Yes, yes I agree. Are. Yeah. Can you name one? Uh, I don't know the names of the species. Can you, <laughs> so, can you describe it? Uh, the color, the, the shapes? Is it big? Is it small? There's a series of really small ones, and they kind of look like a little cluster, but mm-hmm. like they kind of just they look like bush like uh, like I bush plants. I don't know the name either. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> we got to bring a florist on, <laughs> right? You know what? That's true. But like lilies are are cute. So they're but they bundle them with lilies for some reason mm-hmm. to kind of complement them. I just think it distracts from it. Um, I I personally think sunflowers are ugly. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely ugly. Why? Whether it's for the bouquet or for the centerpieces on the table, mm. it just gives me like a Alabama vibe. Like if you're not in Alabama, you shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> okay. And if, you know, you're not marrying your cousin, you shouldn't be doing yeah, this. Yeah, but then what if like someone, you know, puts a cactus on, on as their floor? I think we've right? seen cactus, but they were smaller yeah. and they're kind of okay. But okay. if it's like a big cactus, again, like what's wrong? Why are we doing cactus? <laughs> Yeah, it's you possible. can't come in here and say, "But my favorite flower is a cactus." No, no, <laughs> no one's one, favorite flower. It's not is a, a flower; cactus. it's a plant. The yeah. not pretend it's a flower. Right. So your favorite plant is a cactus. It still isn't, uh, I, in my opinion, something mm-hmm. that should go as a centerpiece. You can't just have a little um, asymmetrical cactus on every table. Yeah, that, I think that doesn't work. I think um, the really, I, I don't like tiny arrangements. You don't like tiny range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it that's, comes, to, that's for cost saving, though, if they do that. I suppose so, but like, it, but you can still make it aesthetic. I, I suppose what I mean by that is like the volume of it. Like, say for example, there's a difference where if your piece is maybe this big, and it's a huge set of flowers. He's describing something the size of a small, like, uh, like, like, soccer ball. Yeah, kids yeah. soccer ball. Yeah, yeah, like you know. But like, say for example, if it came across this whole table, and it had variety of it. Yeah, that's really aesthetically pleasing. But if it's like. A spot here, and then a gap, and then a spot there. So maybe yeah. it's, sometimes it's more on the arrangement than very specific flowers sometimes. But there are certain flowers that just, eh. So it sounds like you're saying a bad florist can make your bouquet or centerpieces ugly. Yes. Yeah, yeah I agree for sure. with that. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah. See, he reads my mind. I like it. So if, if a florist is charging 30 bucks to do all your flowers, eh, it might turn out ugly. Well, I mean, if you know, because if you go to Cholista, you can get a great arrangement for Not 30 for bucks. 30. No, she's not going to do all your flowers in your bouquet for thirty. No, each bucks. each individual one for thirty bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that that might work, but you also have to pay her for her time. Yes. Yeah, that's just the flowers. I'm saying if she's just taking in thirty bucks because uh, gas is like overall like fifteen dollars. Yeah. So then no, no, you, you're probably get there and back. Yeah, that's probably going to be a crap arrangement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so don't do that. And if the florist hypothetically makes a um, centerpiece or bouquet mm-hmm. ugly. Mm-hmm. That's one way it's ugly, but they can, if they make it pretty, but it's photographed ugly, that's also a possibility. Absolutely. And how can something be photographed ugly? Bad lighting, bad angles, um, things like that, right? Yes. So your photographer can actually make a pretty wedding ugly. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we've ever done that, no. I haven't done that, have you? I, That's what I'm saying. No, you've never done that. Um, that's like making food look good. I think you can make... Food look amazing, even if it's not like the best food. Yeah, you can take leftovers from three days ago that would probably give you uh, Dude, poisoning, and you can make it look good. I may have to do that. That sounds so, cool. So a good photographer can make bad arrangements look good as well. Yes. So that's probably important why you should get a good photographer, because well, if the, your floor sucks or it messes up... Then you want a photographer that's going to make it look its best. And if your DJ sucks and has bad lighting, maybe they can fix it in post or use their flash to get rid of the red tints on their demonic faces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, then at that point, then we're looking at like what makes all praise the photographer. Yeah, exactly. Because because <laughs> your wedding may not be, or your wedding or event may not be um, the most aesthetically pleasing physical elements when you're there. But if we make it like look amazing, then that's how you remember it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. 
Make it cinematic, you know, just... Cinematic with photos? Well, yeah, you could do it with... Make something cinematic with photos. What's cinematic mean, bro? Cinematic is like, uh, change your depth of field, you know, like, just... You're one of those guys? Yeah. Shoot at 1.2 and it's cinematic? <laughs> when, when, yeah, 1.2 and it's cinematic. What about lighting? Cinematic. What about composition? But that's what I mean. Like, uh, you showed me that one trick of, like, how to find the light so you get a nice, look, uh, nice backlight and then you bounce that out so yeah. you're, you're still keyed in. Yeah. Like, those little, those techniques make it great. You know? My selfie game is on point because of that, dude. Yeah, but you're not, you're not going to be able to, I think, save a save bad lighting or bad floral arrangements just because you're making it cinematic either. No. You're not going to No, that. but that's where you still have to have good lighting. I mean, that's part of being cinematic, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you know, just take out your phone. Yeah. You don't even need to hire a photographer anymore, do you? <laughs> iPhone, iPhone 14 is out. iPhone 14 is coming out. 14 is coming Samsung out. Samsung 22, no. It has out. professional mode, and it's like, yeah. It, yeah, when you get the iPhone 14, it comes with the professional photographer. Yeah. <laughs> GoPro 11 is coming out. Is it really? I I'm sure. You don't think there's a GoPro 11? There probably is. One day, yeah. Okay. September, October. That's when they're usually released yeah. every year. Yeah. All right, so what's another, like, ugly thing that could happen? I think um, the cloth or the drapery Ooh. can be ugly as well. Yes. I'm not a fan of it just being like a solid, solid white. Mm -hmm. I think either it's the cream or ivory color yeah. or there's like a little bit of either um, decor to it, uh, design, something like that. Yeah. Um, if it's all white, it just looks like it's like a vendor table to yeah. me. It's like, hey, that's our table. But then sometimes they'll accessorize that with like the way the silverware or like the dishware it might be a different color. Yeah. And that kind of like kind of balances out, do you think? Yeah, and and good lighting. If yeah. there's good lighting, but like when the lights are all on and yeah. you go into a ballroom and it's all like white tables, I'm like, oh man. Yes. Okay, so that might be an interesting tip then. When you're looking at your venue, look at the lighting. See what the lighting is when you're picking well, out your venue. The lighting sucks for most venues. It's the DJ or whoever's bringing the lighting. Yeah, for most. But then that's why, like, say, for example, even if you're, like, communicating with your DJ and they're setting up, up lights or they're setting up background lights or whatever have you, let them know, hey, these are the colors that are, is the theme of, like, our uh, drapery or it's the theme of our tables and chairs and things like that and see if they can balance those colors out. Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. then if they're communicating with the lighting side of that, that can also just enhance, you know, like, um, I'm not a fan of the bow ties at the back of chairs. Like fa like fabric chairs. Are, the, are those ugly to you? Yeah, they're ugly. Why are you not a fan? Huh? Or you just think they're like tacky? No, because no, it, it looks like a, like you're trying to wrap a baby up. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> you don't like babies. babies no, I don't, like, I, I, I don't <laughs> like babies. <laughs> no, but like, if, like, all right, because I've seen multiple signs where there's like the chair and then there's like a full drapery over the chair and then they take a big strip and they tie it off in a bow and it's hanging out the back. Yeah. And I just don't like it. I think it's I think it's tacky. Mm. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with just you know have a nice chair, like a nice like nicely constructed chair if you have the budget for it. Because I can guarantee that dressing a chair is probably more expensive than having a nice chair that's already like that doesn't yeah. require the drapery. So if you're looking to save on costs like that, that's the one way to save costs. But also it just looks better. Yeah. Yeah. What about food? Can food be ugly or does it... Absolutely. Food can be ugly? <laughs> Absolutely. How can food be ugly? <laughs> um, I've seen food where... Describe, an, describe ugly food. Uh, if the Are you talking about Persian food? <laughs> yes. No, I'm not. <laughs> that makes up for it because the taste is good. <laughs> I know. Farm and size, you might look like bar. But it's delicious, bro. <laughs> no, the presentation. Like the presentation of the food can where be Where it's in and like if it's a buffet. Yes. And it's... Um, because, like, usually when I've seen buff uh, most buffets that I've seen, and most of them have been the Persian ones, where, like, they're kind of arranged in a certain way where each item is meant to complement each other as mm -hmm. it goes forward. Like, the, usually the meat side is on the on the back end of it. So in, uh, you'll start off with, like, maybe some of your salad pieces, the cream, the yogurts, and stuff that like that. sounds like normal, like, common sense, though. What do you mean? Yeah, but just because it's common sense doesn't mean everybody does it. Yeah, but it's common sense, but if it wasn't like that, it'd be ugly. So if you got your rice first, then your salad, you'd be like, oh, how this is the ugliest Well, how it's ever. presented, though, too. Because, for example, if you have something in a nice, like... Uh, the place where it's served, yeah. Yes. It's usually, what is it, like the silver type yeah. of container? Yeah. Right, but then we've also had dinners where, like, they come out with a meal, and I'm like, this doesn't look appealing to what me. What do you mean comes out with a meal? Like yeah, like, to us? yeah, when it was served like a dish. Well, that's not a buffet, then. No, I know. Well, I'm elaborating on, like, how food can look good or bad. Mm. Like, buffets are uh, maybe a little easier to look good. Mm. But then, obviously, it does look different once everyone's grabbing into it. Yeah. But, like, say, for example, it's individual meals. So the presentation, but not the actual food can be ugly? I don't know. I mean, I don't really think about that. Like, in terms of, like, when it, once it's going in my mouth, it's going in my mouth. Yeah? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you get what I mean? Like, I, I'm not... I'm not always looking at like its presentation in the sense of like, all right. I think it doesn't matter if food's ugly. If it tastes good, it tastes good. Yeah, but if, if it looks ugly, you might think it doesn't taste good. You might not even want that, it. That's your closed-mindedness. If you're going to avoid, uh, <laughs> I'd say, some Indian food, some Persian food, some Afghan food, some sure. fish looks pretty ugly. Yeah. But when you taste it, oh, man, some of the most delicious stuff on earth. Mm. It's like Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year wrapped in one. <laughs> that's uh, that's some, some good hype right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Look at that fish, so good. <laughs> can um can you know the bride's wearing her dress, so she's yes. naturally gonna look beautiful. Right. Um the color can be ugly, like or the style of the dress can be ugly. Sure. But can the groom be ugly? Yes. How can a groom be ugly? Uh so they know what genetics. Not to do. <laughs> I'm talking about their hat, like their suit, their Oh, their suit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm sorry, I just <laughs> I had to get that part. Yeah. Uh how can they look ugly? Um bad the, shoes, bad cufflinks. Scars. Uh, Scars? No, I'm just kidding. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, but you know what? Like, all right. So How for, did they cancel you? <laughs> Mars Entertainment <laughs> at Gmail. <laughs> um, okay, so like, if I'm getting wedding, uh, getting married, I mean, the the tux, if it's a tux at all, they all look the same. Couldn't, huh? They all look the same. I like when they're different. I I don't always. I mean, suits and tuxes almost always look the same though. They're just different variations always. of colors. Sure, but like a bow tie that looks really nice. But if you do a straight down tie, that's not really like, eh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't. Don't do a, a cumber thing. The the, you know what I'm talking about? No. Yeah, it's like it, it, it's a cummerbund. What is? Oh. Yeah, a cummerbund. Okay, okay, Not okay. Benedict Cumberbatch, to it, like a cummerbund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think those are... I don't really like those either. Yeah, they're kind of out there. <laughs> like, because also, they're not functional. They, like, they slip yeah. all the time. They, they'll slip off the groom. Like, if you're wanting one, just know when you're dancing, it's going to come off. Yeah. Or you're going to be spending the whole time readjusting yeah. it. Suspenders look really nice, but they don't have a soft spot for, for suspenders. But they kind of come off, too. Not really. No? No, if you wear them properly, they you don't. You bias because you have 15 pairs That's, of suspenders. I, I have 16 pairs. 16 pairs 16 pairs, pairs. yes. Yeah. Um, but no, like, and also, uh, having... An, you don't have to go really flashy with the watch. It can be nice and simple. Uh, like a really loud watch is kind of... That's ugly, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like just a huge, just gigantic with jewels I, all over the place. Know, I know this is like 2022, yeah. whatever. I still think these <laughs> Apple Samsung watches are ugly for when you're getting married. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. It's, it's, it looks cool. It looks all like futuristic and right. stuff. But I think like in five years or ten years when you're looking back, you're like, ah, why did I wear that? Or can we Photoshop that but out? But you know what? But like a Samsung watch might work because it's still kind of traditional in that it's round and you can do like a leather strap just, to it. Just get Shout a out to Samsung right there. Shout out to our sponsors. Yeah. Samsung. <laughs> Appreciate you guys in South Korea right now. Just kidding, they're not a sponsor. Not <laughs> Samsung, if you would like to um, sponsor this, just send us some watches. And I'll be happy to reveal. Note 23. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, a big loud watch doesn't, you know. Uh, if you wear a monocle, I don't know why someone would. <laughs> don't, don't wear a monocle. Are we, are we uh, photographing the Monopoly guy's wedding? <laughs> <laughs> um, they're like... Too many rings might be kind of off-putting, a little distracting. I mean, these are all things that can be ugly, but if that's their style, that's, they're going to do that. If they have 15 rings. Well, yeah, but them. people can have bad styles. Yeah. Yeah, I but mean, you're, you're asking me what I think is ugly. Yeah, but like a uh, purple dress as a wedding dress is ugly. That's not really anyone's style, though. Like You don't think so? No, red lighting is ugly. It's not anyone's style. <laughs> Fair I know some people claim demons as their style, but no, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't buy that. Yeah. Shout out to Kanye. What, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I think like if someone has like tats that you think are ugly, I mean, yeah. they're still going to have, have tats. Have them shown, out, yeah. Yeah. Short sleeves on your suit. No. No, yeah, that's a hard. That's, that's a hard no. Like for the men, for the men, if you're wearing a a, a a jacket, yeah, and you have the sleeves cut off for whatever reason, please don't do yeah, that. Yeah, that's kind of weird, man. That's, don't this, do that. This is weird. don't do that. Like don't do that. Your uh, wife might not say anything, your fiance might not say anything, but she hates it. She's yeah, dying inside. Um, if you She's miserable. Yeah, like no, that's it's eating at her. That, that's a hard. She no. cries herself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she looks. She doesn't want her photos at the end of it. She's like, "Can you Photoshop touch, his sleeves on?" Touch her pillow when she goes to sleep. It's wet from her tears. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, if, gentlemen, if you're wearing shoes, dress shoes are nice. No sandals. <laughs> no sandals, please. Uh, sneakers can be cool. Um, basketball, like Jordans, that can actually look pretty cool. So, but like if you're wearing Yeezys, eh. bro, it's their wedding. Why are they wearing Jordans? <laughs> that happens. I know, but that's ugly. Yeah. I wear Jordans. And I think it's ugly to wear that during a wedding. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, 
So then, no Jordans. Hairstyles. Hairstyles. Only hairstyles. hairstyles. Buns. Oh. Can we? I'm just joking. <laughs> That's just you, you just you just you just like lost half your clients right there. <laughs> no, he said no buns. I love my buns. Sorry guys. <laughs> Where are your buns? Um. Man buns. There's no, there's no ugly style. If that's your style, that's your style. If so it's, it's your like, style, cool. But if it's something that you not no, don't normally conventionally do, like maybe you should rethink it. Like facial hair as well. If they can, any facial hair be ugly? If you if you're doing facial hair and your hair goes patchy, you gotta shave it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I'm just being real with you. That's ugly like too. You you gotta patch it. No one wants like, like this right here. You gotta shave that. What? No, this is like <laughs> on point. What are you talking Look about? Look at Mario. But like, if you have patches here and patches here, if your nickname is patches because of your beard, like yeah, eh, you're gonna have to rethink Sorry, that. Sorry, patches. Or Shout like, out to patches. or even like your hair and like your hair. If you're kind of like, can we cut your hair for your wedding? No. No. I'm pro- but you know what? I'm losing my hair. So I'm going to trim that a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. I think it looks good. Not but- for a wedding. If you're getting married tomorrow, I'd cut your hair. I'll just tie it up. I just, I just don't cut your hair, bro. <laughs> we'll clean up your uh, beard. We'll cut the back of your hair. We're going to make your fiance a really happy lady. No, she'll just wonder who the hell I am. <laughs> She's like, who is this guy? I'm not married to this me, guy. Bro. Trust me, she'll be happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. If uh, Get your eyebrows done. If no one wants caterpillars not, not on your face. Not the day of the wedding, though. Because so many guys either get, you know, they go somewhere to get shaved and get their eyebrows done, and then it's like red on their face, red on their beard. Well, yeah, but that's why you don't you don't shave it. You pluck it. It can still turn red. Eh. When they go to these, like, threading places and they turn well, red. Well, don't do threading then either. Just go straight old school. Take a little clipper and, you know, just... What I'm saying is, like, clean up the area. You don't have to do necessarily, like, full shaping because you still want to look like you. But if you're going to do full shaping, then, yeah, maybe the day before. But don't go too extreme. Like, you can't get, like, halfway down your eyebrow and suddenly, like, you've just got pencils going across. Like, that don't look right. What do you guys do when you screw up? You marker it in? <laughs> That's racist. What? I'm starting with you. Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You me? know, it's funny because my grandma got her eyebrows tattooed on. Shout out to your grandma. <laughs> <My> grandma. <laughs> tattooed, you said? She got them tattooed on. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they're like fully permanent. Wow. Yeah. Well, because uh, hers grow really thin. That's another thing for ladies. Like, if your hair does, your eyebrows do grow really thin. It's okay to get them done. Like it's all right. You know, it's okay. Get, get a little filler in, and that's okay. But but to also make sure your kids have good eyebrows, just marry a Persian. <laughs> yeah, and the hair will come out. Furry. Yeah, because then you will always be trimming them versus like trying to add to them. It's better to trim than I it agree. is to add. I agree. Yeah. Um, Are unibrows ugly? Yeah. 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 I think some guys can pull it off. No. Some women can too. I I used to have a unibrow. <laughs> Same here. No. I, I think mine are still slightly <laughs> connected. No. 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 No unibrows. Come on. No. No? No. Ladies, if you have some whiskers, it's okay to trim it off. Some ladies like unibrows, though. Okay, if she likes it, then whatever. Yeah. I mean, I mean that comes down to personal preference, I suppose. Yeah, but, if that's not so, yeah. but if that's not normally something you do, maybe you should rethink it. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Earrings. I think earrings can be nice. I think big earrings are ugly. Like hoops? For a wedding? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or like things that hang too low? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, no. Nah. Keep like a little Keep more. Keep it simple. Yeah. Simpler the better. Less is more. Yeah. All those cliche phrases. <laughs> You're so cliche. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. Thank you. Thanks, Mario. I try. <laughs> um, let's see. When it comes to, I mean, for guys, it's hard to like so many different styles. You're either changing the color of your suit or you're not. Let's let's move on from the guys. I think yeah, it's yeah. pretty hard on them. I know. Um, are there cars Bad. that are ugly? Like you know, people. I was gonna cars? say makeup actually. Makeup so Some makeup can be that good. In terms of too much, doesn't it differ? No, n- like having a good base, like a good foundation is great. Yeah. Um, but like say in the eye region, mm-hmm. if um, if you put too much eyeshadow mm-hmm. or to put too much like uh, like color in your eye in yeah. your eyebrows, yeah. it's a little stripperish. Stripperish? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mars Entertainment at Gmail if you'd like to cancel them. <laughs> I, I like it dark because when no, we're no, taking dark, photos. Dark is okay. But what I'm saying is if it's too strong and too distracting from the rest of your like your face or the rest of your makeup, it can be too distracting. Your focus should be at the eyes, bro. You want, her, you want people looking at her like nose and lips? Yeah. I, you should be looking at the eyes. You should be looking into someone's eyes. Why are you staring at the tip of their nose all the time? Because too, too, they put too much bronzer on and all I can see is nose. <laughs> or the cheeks or like so if they bronzer. Made their eyes darker, then your eyes would go back to the eyes. <laughs> bronzer, too much bronzer is to me uh, off putting. I disagree with the eye stuff, bro. Okay, fair. Yeah. We agree to disagree. What about red lipstick? Red lipstick? We don't agree to disagree. <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong. Move on. <laughs> red lipstick. Uh red lipstick I'm okay. okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, uh no purple. Colored lipstick? Pink, no. 
Nude? What's nude? It's like the same like skin color. It's like really uh, not, you know, uh, out like, there. It's eh. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Go I wouldn't do that either. I no. think. I think there should be color there for yeah. your wedding day. Yeah, it's something that kind of still pop out. Yeah. Um, black, probably not, unless you're into that. Black lipstick. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Um, but yeah, red's not, red's a nice neutral color. Um, something within those shades of like red to, I don't know, like don't do green. No. No. Uh, but like I said, bronzer. I'm really off putting. Like I just mm, no, it's hard to. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened to you, but we'll talk about where that comes from. <laughs> yeah, who scarred me? Yeah. No, you know what? Because it's, uh, I don't know. I just, there's something about it. You dated a stripper yeah. and it didn't work out, and now you're taking it out on their makeup. Uh, Shout out to the strippers. Thanks for breaking my heart. <laughs> cars. Are there cars that are ugly? Yes. What's ugly? A limo? Mm, no. Limo bus? Yeah. Huh? It can be. Renting like a convertible. It depends on the it depends on the model. Like an old like uh, was it Cadillac? You know, an old Cadillac can be nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, don't do like Tesla. Teslas. Uh, it depends. We had one yeah. where they rented a Tesla. Yeah, that's right. They had the the X, right, or the S. I think it was the X. Okay, so yeah. the, I thought I, it was badass because it was like really new back. Yeah, then. yeah. I don't know now if I feel the same, but it was kind of cool back then. It, it's cool because it stands out because of the doors. Mm. The, the way the doors yeah. open, it makes the entrance look cool. Um, but I would say definitely go with like the Model S. If you're gonna do a Tesla, don't show up with a Model Three. Like n <laughs> nothing wrong with the Model Three, but that's an every everyday car. But like if you showed up with the Model S, what about like a neon Kia Soul? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mario's car. If Thanks. you see him in the streets, just give it's, him a wave. It's a neon Kia Soul. <laughs> or uh, follow him to cancel him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my license plate number is <laughs> no, uh, no, don't show up with a neon Kia Soul. No. <laughs> that's not, not that would be ugly. Uh, for, a wedding. for a wedding, yes. For a, for a wedding. wedding, yes. Uh, I have a, yeah. There could be like weird colors of the car for a wedding. There could be weird colors? I think so. I don't think so. I think like, it's a wedding should, white or black. Yeah, but like you should, that's what I'm saying. Like don't show up with like a highlighter green freaking Any you know, color car. I think is pretty much ugly for a wedding. It should be nice classic white or black, whatever your what car is. What about red though? I think red on like a classic car would look good. Like a Mustang? Yeah. Or like uh, one of those old, like an old Rolls Royce or... Um, a red Rolls Royce? Yeah. No. Yeah, no, 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 that guy should just be banned and <laughs> cancel that guy for his <laughs> so um, to Ukraine to fight. <laughs> uh, don't show up in a Honda Civic. Um, <laughs> what if that's the car they drive? They don't want to rent a car. They're saving money that way. So I mean, but see, that's when you're going to, if we're talking about like straight ugly versus not ugly versus subjective. I mean, if that's part of their car, their favorite car, then who am I well, yeah, well, obviously yeah. all Hondas are going to be ugly. For <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to start naming every yeah. brand and um, model. Aud Audis are nice. I think Audis they're, are okay. They're very ugly yeah. for weddings. Really? Audis are very <laughs> ugly for weddings. Don't go that route. Okay. I don't know who told you your A4 or whatever is, is cool or whatever. It's not. Trust it's, me, it's, it's not. No, it's cool. It's not. It, it's definitely It's cool. definitely <laughs> not. You want to get divorced faster than Kim Kardashian? Get that Audi. <laughs> Shout out to Kanye. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. All right. What else do you think? What else be? is ugly? Mm. Um, People I are not ugly. People can be ugly. If your vendors show up in t-shirts or tennis <laughs> shoes, I think that's ugly. Yes. If it was even people on my own team, I'd say, go home. Yes. Just pack your stuff that's and That's happened home. before. That's happened before. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I think that's ugly. Yeah, that's fair. I think maybe when you're uh, doing the getting ready shots, sure. you can be more casual, but by the time the ceremony starts, you, you better be kind of dressed up. Yeah. I know we don't go all out in like suits, but we have like a, you know, a button We're consistent. Down. Um, slacks, yeah. dress shoes. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I think it's ugly. Yeah. And I know certain photographers, at least in San Diego, they're a little bit more casual, so they let their photographers, um, the studio lets their photographers kind of go willy nilly, where yeah. they sometimes have khakis. Mm. Um, khakis? Khakis and like a shirt that's, that's not buttoned it down. It's like a kind of polo and khakis. I think that's ugly. Shout out to you, it's ugly. I know you, if you're watching this, it's ugly. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with it because I'm, you can change it. It's not a personal thing. Just I, change that up. I mean, if you show up like that, I'm gonna ask you what set you're from. Like, what's what? What, you, what set you're from? What set you're from? Yeah, yeah. Like, like if you show up and khakis and freaking uh, a polo like I'm definitely getting a question like <laughs> I mean we wear polos every now and then but at least it's tucked in and it's black yes. it's like not it's consistent you know, with the rest of the time we're not wearing a brown uh, sh polo <laughs> with brown khakis and a, a brown baseball cap yeah that like, would be what happened no, bro that's Heck definitely not the, that way. that's a hard no that's definitely hard not no, the business hard pass yeah. you're ugly absolutely your outfit's ugly not you inside your I mean you could good. you could be ugly but I'm not gonna call you ugly. what else is ugly um venues are there any ugly venues yeah What's ugly there venue? There can be an ugly venue. What's an ugly venue? An ugly venue? Yeah. Um, let's see. The ones you, that don't service food? Yeah, the ones that don't <laughs> service food. Um, 
I'm trying to think of one that I just didn't like. Why didn't you like it? Do you remember? I don't remember. That's why. The thing is, we there's been so many venues that some of them just like, kind of fall by the wayside, and I don't they don't stand out to me. But like, I think I think if a golf course doesn't stand out because mm. they all are kind of similar, then it's ugly. It's not ugly because. Huh. It, that doesn't make it ugly. But, okay. like for example, some hotels, if their decor is really bad, yeah. and inside the carpet and the walls are just ugly, meaning the DJ has to have, like, really nice uplights or someone needs to bring drapes yes. or something like that. Okay, I see what you're They're bringing saying. that because the venue is ugly. Yeah. And then on our end, if we're somewhere that is atrocious, uh-huh. that's our next podcast, atrocious stuff. Atrocious. We need to use zoom lenses, dramatic <laughs> lighting, so that we're not getting the atrociousness, if that's a word, of okay, the environment. So then how do you be, feel, what do you prefer over the flooring? Because I would personally say that wood definitely looks more aesthetically pleasing on the flooring. Yeah, yeah versus but I can, name, I can name hotels that have really, really bad carpet. And even like the person, the, the day of coordinator is yeah. like, hey, sorry about our carpet from the 1970s. Really? Oh, we haven't shoot. like updated this in 30, 40 years. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm going to try and like not to get it or it's going to be dark. I'm going to try to flash like the people. But yeah. like for a video, some of it's going to be in there. And then everybody's not always on the dance floor. Mm. People move around, right? Certain DJ lighting could be ugly. In what way? Uh, you just don't like the DJs. No, I love the DJs. <laughs> DJs are great. What's, what's ugly lighting? Uh, for example, like... Did we already say this? The colors? No, it's not just the colors. Sometimes it's the type of lighting, though. Like... Spotlight? What do you mean? Yeah, well, like, all right, so... Be clear, uh, please. Okay, okay, so, like, if you got a light tree set up and you overly stack a single light tree with just 10 different lights, mm-hmm. that's just, it looks disorganized to me and it just shows. doesn't, yeah, it doesn't yeah, look appealing to me. Yeah. But if you have, like, maybe four lights on there and then a second light tree with another four lights yeah. that balance that out, that's cool. Like, because at least you're spreading things out appropriately. But, like, if also just, I guess, disorganization can be ugly. Like, if your arrangements are ugly looking in terms of, like, where your speakers are set up or, like, how your tree stands are set up, shout out to all the DJs uh, that do a really great job in organizing your cables. Shout out, yes. Yeah. Bad, cab- bad cabling can throw me off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're getting a stage, or not a stage, but, like, a dance floor because the venue doesn't have its own dance floor, ugly flooring could look bad in terms of, like, the actual arrangement. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I think most of the time they're bringing in the flooring though, like they're setting up some well, kind of flooring. Yeah, but sometimes they're third party groups that they have that they go out separately. Yeah. So, for example, uh, there's a type of artificial flooring that ha- comes in like one by one uh, cubes. The artificial turf. Yeah, well, turf. It, it's not turf. No, it's. Uh, I say yeah. I'm it, trying to throw you off. So it's the listening. panel. No, I'm always listening. Okay. It's the panel. Uh huh. So it's a one by one panel, and so the when turf. you no the the panel, <laughs> and so when you do this panel and say you have a grid of like I don't know twenty by twenty, mm-hmm. that's you have 20 lines right. going up and down the floor and all the way across. Like, that looks ugly. But if you have, like... You can't really see it, can you? Yeah, you can. You, you can, can definitely see Absolutely. Always? Yes. Because the line is so distinctive because mm-hmm. they put to get, they put them together like a puzzle piece. So how do they? How do you counter that? So, so you can counter that by getting larger panels. There are single... Pa- there are panels uh-huh. that are maybe four feet by four feet. And so you only have three of those. So what is the bride and groom supposed to do? They're like, hey, can we have big panels, please? Yeah, honestly, no, that's, really. That's yeah, you're when you're looking for your flooring, if your venue does not have a dance stage that they can already accommodate for, and, and that's assuming that you want a dance stage in the first place because some people are comfortable with just having the regular flooring. Mm-hmm. But not everyone is because if it's a carpet... Someone's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. If it's carpet, no one's going to want to dance on the carpet. So usually you'll see some kind yeah. of flooring that's put You in. would dance on the carpet. I, I will dance yeah, anywhere. Um, <laughs> so when that happens, if you have the option of getting larger panels, that looks great. And it's going to feel better when you're actually on it versus you might get your feet stuck in the cracks because the heel might that, pierce yeah, right through. That, yeah, that. exactly. Or also if we're filming and someone steps on a panel right in front of us, it's going to shake the camera. That's like true. if it's on a tripod. So it does affect things and it just doesn't look good. But if you get a large one where it's like, you know, four by four and you, and you stack them up together, each panel is going to be a little bit more evenly distributed in terms of the weight balancing. It's going to look better. Have it polished firsthand too, or at least cleaned. Someone wipe it down because if it looks dirty, it's going to look ugly on your shot. And then when you're stepping out on stage, you're like, oh, look, there's a gum. Like, no one wants that. Um, also, like, what can be really pretty is when they put, like, a laminate over it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that looks nice. But if it's, like, just as weird grids, like, don't do that. Like, no. That's let's a hard get, no. Let's get to what people really want to know. Ugly filming. <laughs> yes. How can, how, how does filming turn ugly? 
Filming can turn ugly. From, Lots of shaking. Yeah. Bad lighting. Yeah. Um, bad cameras. I'd have to go with as well. You're using your GH3 still. Like shame on you. <laughs> You're using a T6i from Costco. Shame yeah. on you. Uh, Those bad. are the guys that say, it doesn't matter what camera you use, it's the story that matters. No, your camera sucks. It's going to make the yeah. footage ugly. It's going to make the bride and groom ugly. The, so that I used to believe in that expression until I wised up. How did you wise up? Uh, because Someone told you your footage was ugly? Yeah. yeah. And I also started comparing it to other people, and I realized that I wasn't meeting the standards. Uh, it, your camera has to at least be able to compete with everybody else in that standard or better. Check, check One this or the out. Other. Check this out. A bride and groom, a bride uh, has hired me yes. to edit her wedding from like the 90s uh -huh. to give to her fiance for their like 20th or 30th anniversary, yeah, anniversary yeah. whatever. Yeah, maybe sure. it's from the 2000s, not the 90s. Okay. Um, so the camera that was used looks like one of these big cameras where when it's zoomed out, yeah. there's a black uh, circle behind it. The vignette? It's not a vignette. It's, it's, like, not? it's literally like you're looking through a peephole because that's how the camera was. So when okay. he zooms in, that goes away. Yeah. It, you know, it's not a vignette. It's, it's actually it's an actual circle. like circle. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I zoom this in yeah. in post and it's like in, in uh, SD, like 320p. Yeah. It's not even, you know, 720 yet. Yeah. So I'm zooming in and I'm trying to like increase the quality, but you know, you're limited. Yeah. And there's a lot of shaking. And there's two two guys filming, and in almost every shot, they're filming each other. Oh my god! So they're like across from each other this filming the bride and so groom. Yeah. So this was like I was like I can't fix it if they're both in each other's shots. Like I can't, you would have to cut that. That like, I can't. I can't do anything. You can't even cut that out because you're gonna cut, cut out that the key point. Yeah. So like I try to stabilize it. Mm -hmm. I try to like change the color so it doesn't look like garbage. Mm -hmm. And I can zoom in a little bit. I feel attacked better. Right but like, if half is what? <laughs> I feel attacked right now. <laughs> no, no. It's a joke. No, because no, I, I, I made, I, well, I've made these mistakes before, too. Yeah, you have. Yeah. I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> 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 you shot ugly footage, as have yes. I, bro. We're yeah. not above it all. We no, shot and we try to learn from our ugly uh, footage. And you might not be able to learn as fast as I can because mm -hmm. I'm the one editing it. So mm -hmm. when I see it, I'm like, oh, man, this is this was ugly. Why did I do this? Yeah. Because either I went handheld mm -hmm. or I didn't have the GH6 yet. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, whatever the reasoning is. But as we progress, our shots get prettier and we have less oh, for sure. footage. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so. So this, what happened with the, that? Then the I'm video? still editing it. I'm not finished. <laughs> it's been like weeks and I'm like, I'm trying to make this really pretty. Yeah. It's very difficult. It's more difficult than any wedding that I'm, I've shot and I'm editing right now. Yeah. Even though when we shoot, we have 12 hours of footage and this is just one hour. I'm oh, editing one hour into like geez. 30 minutes. Yeah. It's oh, so man. difficult, yeah. That sounds... And yeah, they can't but, do anything. You can't say, hey, why didn't you hire these guys? Because yeah. how many cinema, cinematographers were there in 2001? Like, no one. Uh, how many? Like, three companies? Five yeah, companies? Probably. I don't know. I yeah. mean, realistic. And then also just the technology behind back then. Yeah. It just wasn't up to standard. It's like broadcast but, cameras or something. Shoot, it, I wasn't even shooting on my T3i at that time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there was, there was T3i. Like, yeah, then. no, it wasn't there available. Was so, -series, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, um, yeah, bad footage can really, like... Make brides and grooms cry. Yes. Tears. Absolutely. Yeah. I totally agree with that because, like, say, for example, I show up and... They start not, crying. <laughs> well, it's not <laughs> even true. just the footage. Like, say, for example, the, the, like, all right, I hand you a bunch of footage, right? What if I didn't record the audio? That's going to... That, That's that can... Or what if I recorded bad audio? Yeah. Not even just didn't record it. I did everything I was supposed to, but then maybe... Uh, you the audio you received or the audio that was recorded, whatever have you, is peaked out nonstop. Yeah. Like, that's terrible. Yeah, that's why we have backups, right? Yes, that's why you always that. have backups. Um, you want to know something cool, though, about the GH6? What? Just because we're on the topic. Tell me. Uh, if you've ever shot with the older GH5, whatever, there's mm -hmm. something called open gate, which means that it shoots in a square. So okay. when you have the square, it's like 6K or whatever. So you can choose any part of the vertical of it. Uh -huh. Or you can choose, sorry, you can choose vertical or horizontal, any part of it. Without loss of quality. Wait, what? Yeah, so so you just shoot to square all the time. So you could just like punch in. Yeah, you're so you're supposed to punch in when it's open. Like airy cameras, that's how they shoot open gate. What? So you can kind of choose where do you, where you want it on the frame. Dude, so my like, mind's blown right now. So even if you're like screwed up or you like left too much headroom, I know you can always zoom in, but this yeah. is like specifically for zooming in. That's why it's a square. That's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Kind of opens it up. Whoa. Yeah. Or, or let's say hypothetically, hypothetically, I know yeah. we haven't had this yet. They're like, hey, we need a vertical for a TikTok for a yeah. video. We want, we want to post that. Hey, we got you because we shot open gates. So yeah, just, so it's already like by default already, you have the yeah. capability of doing yeah. it. Yeah. Dude, Without that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Got to test that out. Let's do it. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, bad audio can be good. Bad music. Ugly music. Can you define music as ugly? 
um, thong song, Who Let the Dogs Out. <laughs> but I mean, we're, we're putting our music over it. And sometimes yeah. the bride and groom don't like the music, which is yeah. fine. Then they give me their input and we yeah. switch it up. That's not that big of a okay. issue. I yeah, because that's, uh, that's correctable. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you feel like there can be ugly entrances? Not really. I mean, they're just coming in. I'm not a fan of stairs. How, entrances like, to what, the reception? Yeah. How do they take stairs? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Entrances to the ceremony. To the ceremony? Yeah. I There was a, the entrance that we did for uh, La Jolla. The, um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but that's kind of like it's, they had no other options. They had to come out from the room and they needed to be hidden from the guests. That's mm. why they came from that room. It's like they're... Bridal suite. I guess I would have had them come in from the other side. Like, You'd make them but, walk an extra 300 feet. But yeah, I would. You. Yeah. I would. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't do that. Okay, that's right. Yeah. I, I just, I'm not a fan of stairs being you don't have part to take of the entrance. Huh? You don't have to take them if you don't like stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it's yeah, my, you know, my extra weight I'm carrying on to. Yeah. It makes that's stairs kind of hard. Yeah. Yeah, so. Heavy cameras. That's why you should use a GH6. Thanks. Shout out to our sponsors, Panasonic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think if we say it enough time, yeah. it's going to just manifest itself. Yeah. I'm like, hey, can we sponsor you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think there can be ugly entrances if the spacing isn't right. Yeah. So, like, there is... The too cluttered Val- or too much space. At the Valencia. I love the Valencia as a venue. Yeah. But there is that area that we normally do the receptions in. It's oh, really, it's upstairs. Re- the it's really gotcha. tight. It's, like, really tight. To the point where we have to stand on like the garden area. I mean, sometimes that's your that's your problem. No one cares. It's a it's closely knit. Everybody's there. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty background. Yeah, but if I'm shooting like from the I entry, mean, get, find a way. You're the problem solver. I know that, but what I'm saying is, I think it's not the most aesthetically pleasing when they're coming in from the side and like. Um, it's, it's just it's really right. na- it's, it's just because right. really because it being like that yeah. lets you have different angles as well. That's unique to that that you don't get in, in any other venue. You okay. can go up there. Like, we had one on each corner. We had you back there, and then we had the GoPro See, up See, this, this is why you're the boss man, because you make, like... Uh, you, That's why I'm you, the boss man. You approach it from, like, a different, like, perspective. So Most things are problem-solving, right? So, like, mm. we're just... That's kind of the fun part of it. Yeah. If everything was easy and we just clicked it and it takes 3,000 photos yeah. and 20K and we're done, <laughs> that's kind of boring. But, like, when you're, like, also problem-solving, you're trying to get unique angles or yeah. you're trying to do something differently so we stand out. Do you have an ugly angle that you don't like? Just straight out, you hate it. Um, not really. I don't like too much from the bottom. I don't like mm-hmm. shooting up in the nostrils. Okay. Um, I know it kind of changes it. And sometimes if the background's ugly, we got to go low. So we're not getting that. Yeah. I understand that. Okay. But overall, I'm not the biggest fan of nostrils. What about really high angles? Really high angles can work. But if they're like not a tall couple, then we're like purposely making them short. And if they're already short, then it's okay. kind of weird. So then your preference is like eye level and roughly? For some of it, not yeah. all of it. Yeah, okay. you got you to change it up. If you're trying to ask me for help, let me know. I'll help, help, help. Maybe <laughs> new angles. No, no, I'm like, asking. Are you bored with your angles? No, well, no. Um, let's see. Uh, movements wise, is there movements Smooth. that you find ugly? Yeah. N- shaky footage is not. not. <laughs> how, m- how much shake is acceptable? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Some of it, uh, Premiere will take away, but. Yeah, yeah. Like, but like if it's too if dramatic, you stumble you can't for even 15 do it. minutes falling downstairs, then I can't really. <laughs> That. I have stumbled. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there's one yeah. where I literally tripped. So I was like, oh, all right. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, do you feel like there can be ugly rings? Ugly rings. I feel like there yeah. could be. I'm trying to picture what an ugly ring would look like. Um, I can't say like a simple ring is ugly. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I guess maybe uh, I can't think of a flashing ring that's ugly. I'm a fan of like the circle, all those different designs because I've mm. gone through the process of picking it out, so I'm, mm. I'm familiar with it. But I don't, I don't really, I don't can't think of something that's ugly. Okay, the most controversial one of all, uh, bridesmaids dresses. The color can be ugly. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. What's the ugly color? Uh, purple. Purple. Yeah. Pur- lavender is kind of cute. Um, pink, I think, is too much. White. White. <laughs> well, you can't go white. I mean, you shouldn't. You, you shouldn't can, white. but you can't. Black. Yeah. Uh, I think black can be cool. When have we seen that? No, I've never seen that. No, but so I think it can be. Cool. Probably not. No, if we've probably never not. Seen okay, it. fair enough. Uh, red. Yeah, red. No, no, for red lights. Yeah, no, red. You think it stands out too much? It goes back to the whole like Satan worship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Shout out to Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, by, by these easies. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think. Also, their types of their types of dresses 
should complement the bridesmaid's yes. dress. So, like, if she's doing a uh, mermaid dress, then maybe the bridesmaid should have mermaid dresses, too. Yes. Like, that... I think that should, like, definitely complement each other. And if they're having mermaid dresses, they should just go in with the theme and have fish for dinner. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> they're like, oh, these, these, just, these fish are amazing. Yeah, because yeah. Mario loves fish. I hate just fish. He hates I, absolutely, I absolutely hate it. Um, your fish can be ugly. <laughs> yeah. fish, your fish is ugly, generally. Yeah. Like, I think like, most yeah. dead animals are ugly. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I, I think that in an overall standpoint, it's the, the little things that can be ugly that also make it big because of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's simple things that can be correctable that, like, your lighting arrangement, that's a correctable thing. Especially, like, say, for example, whoever's doing your lighting around the rest of the banquet area, can or not the banquet area, but the staging areas, they can just change the color right off the bat. Like, yeah. if the color is off-putting, just, that's it. Yeah. And if your photographer arrives... Dressed ugly, just send them home. Go, yeah, go change, come back. back. You yeah. might miss a few hours, but if you're a photographer or videographer that's showing up to something, bring some extra clothes with you, yes. just in case. Yes, just in case. Yes, because also like how many times have you torn your pants? Once, twice, <laughs> twice, 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 twice. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was ugly. That was ugly. <laughs> I had to hide it. I remember that. I was like, oh. I pulled you to the side. I was like, dude, my pants are stripped. You're like, yeah. what? I'm like, dude, my pants are stripped. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, trying to hide it the whole time. Oh man, that was awkward. Uh, wear a belt, guys. Like, no one wants to see you pulling your pants up That's nonstop. Ugly. That's yeah. just, that doesn't work. It's not appealing. Um, be kind, be polite. Yeah. Being mean is ugly. Your attitude. Being impolite is ugly. Yes. Bad attitude is ugly. Be professional. Mm. All that good stuff. Uh, be kind, rewind. You know, it's like, just... Be kind, rewind? You never heard that before? No. Yeah, it's an old, like, uh, analog thing. If you rented a video from, like, Blockbuster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you rewind the tape. Yeah. It's, you know, it's kind. Shout out to Blockbuster, our, <laughs> our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's a, it, th I like that expression as it just, you know, a mentality of, like, be kind and think about the others around you. Yeah, that's right. Um, so falling into that, like, kind of topic, uh, it can be ugly if your, uh, your guests are inappropriately behaving. Dancing? Uh, Freaking each other? Is that no, not dancing, no? but like basic etiquette. Like for example, uh, standing up during the ceremony mm. and blocking like other people's views. That's kind of like rude. Uh, pulling on the photographer's shirt to take a picture oh, is ugly. God. Don't do that. Please don't Please, do that as a guest. No. Thank you. Just ask. Hey, can you take yeah. a picture? We'll, we'll be happy to do it or we'll tell you to wait. If we're Standing right in front of the camera. That's ugly. Don't, Bring don't an care. iPad to a wedding. That's ugly. <laughs> Um, you don't yeah. need to film the ceremony. That's ugly. Just sit there and enjoy yeah. it. Be the just, guest. Just be the guest. Have a good time. Yeah. You know, enjoy the experience and eat the food. Don't eat the fish. I mean, I'm just kidding. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. I won't eat the fish. You yeah. eat the fish. Um, if you're a photographer, don't yell at the brides and yes. grooms and their parents. That's yes. ugly. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> if you mess up, don't do this. Don't, don't get frustrated. Don't, don't yeah, panic. That's don't ugly. make faces. Yeah, that's uh, you keep keep a cool, collected head, and analyze the situation. And if you have a good team that you're working with that can identify that you can give signal cues to be like, hey, you know what, you know, like those little things go a long way. Uh, keep your head straight and just a cool, collected and like mindset. Um, if you're a bride and you start crying, because it happens, it's common. Uh, it's okay. Like, yes, you'll find that your makeup might get smeared and you'll find that ugly. It's um, not ugly, man. That's I don't think that's it's adorable. Ugly. That's what I'm saying. I think, it, I think it's really endearing. Unless you got a bad crying face. Do you have a bad crying face? I have face? a terrible bad okay, crying then face. Then don't cry, bro. Yeah. If they have a bad crying face, they know not to cry. Like my crying face goes, I, I started uh, making don't that do face. That, please. Yeah. We're going <laughs> to cancel. <laughs> All um, right, bro. Yeah. We'll wrap it up here. Okay. Thank you for coming and discussing with me what's ugly. Yes. Don't be ugly. I won't I'll try be either. Thank we'll you. watch each other if we think someone's being ugly. Yeah. Until our next episode. See you guys soon. This was a rush at vent. This was a rush at Wed Ven with Mario. That was ugly. That, that was definitely <laughs> ugly.